Now we're going to be performing up there tonight, but we'll, we'll touch on a few of your favorites, I hope. But as Nancy and I dreamed about where we were going to go, what we were going to do, I really saw it as a flying trip, because I expected to be looking down on the rest of the world. But I wanted to get to the point that I could have a solo career. Marty O'Brien, my father, God bless him, was just barely making enough to feed my mother, my father, and I. Getting his brains beat out every Thursday and Friday night as a boxer. He fought under the name Marty O'Brien. Because <laughs> remember the social standings we Italians enjoyed back in the 30s and 40s. But my mom, my mother Dolly, was making quite a name of herself with that speakeasy. We were able to fund me a little bit, bought me a nice speaker and a sound system. I started going off on my own. But I needed a bigger sound, so I sought out a big band. I sought out the Harry James Orchestra, which was one of the greatest names in the business at the time. And I ran into Harry, and though he was afraid with good reason that he couldn't afford me. We worked out a nice relationship, and I toured with the Harry James Orchestra for about a year. I learned a great deal from Harry about showmanship and about hearing and listening carefully. Why, one little known fact is, it was a real challenge for me to learn to hear as well as I needed to because I was completely deaf in one ear. When I was born, my mother Dolly had a bit of a problem and they ended up yanking me out of the forceps, puncturing my eardrum. Which is why I never served in World War II with many of my peers. I had to serve my country in other ways. But we were able to make, they make a good living with the Harry James Orchestra. I did marry Nancy. And I was making a big enough name for myself with the Harry James Orchestra that when my first daughter was born, I was on the road. I was on the road about 300 nights a year. Makes you kind of wonder how I ever had a family. Yeah. <laughs> well, Nancy Senior was born, or Nancy Junior was born, excuse me. But I had enough money socked away, and I was a big enough name already with the Harry James Orchestra that they were able to take a photograph of me on the telephone talking to my wife, Nancy, and Nancy Jr. in the hospital. And they could transmit a picture <laughs> and print it out so I could see my wife and daughter. That was a great moment in my life. And as I talk to you this afternoon, I want you to come away with a true understanding of the passion that I had for my family, my friends, and my music. My family was, in fact, one of the most important things to me in my entire life. What was a man if he couldn't be there for his family and support them in an appropriate way? And we had special challenges. My chosen career kept me out on the road quite a lot. And Nancy and I did have some struggles. But my first wife, Nancy, and my family were sure about one thing. And that was whatever I did, I did it with my all. And I'd like to sing a song for you right now. All the way. It's called All the Way, which is when you get to know me, you'll understand that that's how I did everything. It was all the way. <clears throat> oh, when somebody loves you, it's no good unless she loves you.
Sure.